All right, hey everyone, Waterbot here, and welcome back to No Man's Sky, uh, the Abyss update. I guess let's quickly, quickly zip through the uh, patch notes while we're here. Let's put this into full screen so you don't have to see uh, any of my desktop stuff. Anyway, so No Man's Sky, the Abyss, update 1.7. Aquatic environments over five times more variety. Varied creature behaviors, improved underwater visuals, much, much more. Reaches of the deep. Let's see, so there's some unique and terrifying creatures. Some extra resources to grab. Predator fish rumored to be larger than starships. That's cool. And the abyssal horror, which has lured many explorers to a grim end. Okay, aquatic missions. So, brings new context to the, to the depths and a dark narrative to No Man's Sky. Fate of a troubled crew stranded from a freighter crash by the rising tides. Or explore underwater runes to un uncover the tale of a lost soul trapped beneath the waves. Sunken reps, wrecks, so we'll have bases and whatnot. Find stuff, cargo, ship upgrades, I believe. Oh, find and repair rare crash ships and restore them from the seabed to the skies. Interesting, I wonder if they have new ship types. There's a diving helmet that we can go grab, so I should probably go grab that. New outer water biomes. Some of the decorations look pretty sweet. There's also a sub, which might be customizable. Might not be, it looks like it's mostly just like the standard upgrades as opposed to actually standing out. And also, most importantly, we can make cool Subnautica bases, which I kind of really want to work on. Submersible building modules. So, glass corridors, viewing bays, and submersible view domes. Neat. Swimming controls. Some new emotes, new substances to grab. A vehicle shop for vehicle upgrades, which is really nice. Uh, I don't recognize this bike thing. I should probably go look into it at some point. Freighter and frigate enhancements. Okay, both vessel types can be scanned using the analysis visor. and Repair their friends' frigate, frigates in multiplayer. Oh, neat. It's not going to happen for me. And there's more of the patch notes, but we're not going to bother with that. Okay. So where's, where's, where's my ship? There's my ship. It doesn't look like it's changed, so hacks magic. Let's go. I guess I should probably figure out which one of these even is an ocean planet. Well, that looks promising. How do we how do we check discoveries? All right. I guess I should probably check the planets that I've been on. Which ones do I have bases on? That's the one question. This ain't gonna be easy. It might just be easier for me to warp. I think Bad Vacation had oceans, so that might be the one I want to go to. In that case, uh... Just, oh, mouse controls make this very strange. Should probably use my controller. Yeah, I put it down because I was playing. Uh-oh. Wait, no, that's the space station. We're good. Uh, I put my controller down because uh, I was done playing Call of Cthulhu. Turns out I needed it. Oh god, I forgot this thing is very fast. Oh, oh. okay, I lost a lot of stuff, didn't I, probably from this. My starship is... or did I put it under tech? No, I guess I probably maxed this thing out. To some degree, <laughs> there's a smiley face and no. Uh, multi-tool? Maybe it's maybe it's my exosuit. There's some neat mods. No, it doesn't look like I've lost too much. That's that's a good sign. How do I get out of this? That's how I get out of this. All right, let's not be a geck, unless of course I can be a geck. Um. Oh right, I can't. How do I sprint? That's how I sprint. Okay. Appearance, appearance modifier. A question, can I get the, um, head? Head type 10? No, so it looks like I can't get the, um, I can't get the diving helmet on a Gek. You have to be one of the more humanoid ones to pull it off. Well, that's kind of understandable. Unless that's it. No. Well, race. I guess we're, we probably just want to be an anomaly. I'm also not... Sonic the Hedgehog anymore, so there's that. 
Body shape. Oh, I don't remember these. Bleh. <laughs> That's neat. I appreciate that. No, that's not it. Huh. I wonder if we don't have access to it yet. Or is that it? It looks close, but I don't think that's it. I don't... I don't actually know. Torso style. Can I skip on the torso armor? I have to have armor. Looks like I have to have armor. Alright, I guess I'm just stuck with that. Oh. Okay, I'm just gonna kinda hack job some kind of basic outfit out here. It's not going to be the prettiest. Markings... Blue? Secondary color also blue? But I don't know where the markings were. If I remember right, this one made it look like I had a weird diaper. Oh well. We'll go back to it. Just for the time being. It's markings. Exactly. Why are we so green? I don't know. other boot styles we have. This one fits. and looks nice. Backpack. I really wish there was like a, a lighter backpack that I could grab. Like something more form-fitting maybe? Oh well. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, save changes. So I don't know where the uh, helmet is. Yeah, it might be unlockable. Maybe we have to do the quest. I'm not sure. This will have to do for the time being. I mean, it looks oceanic enough. Okay, so I want to take a look at these things. Can I? Exosuit upgrade. I wonder if these got reset with the uh, with the update. Cause that'd be kind of lovely. Uh, was it cargo? I think it was cargo. Gets me one in both. What do you have? Technology minister. Okay, so we have ah efficient water jets. Fuel efficiency of the jetpack's marine jets, reducing the drain on exosuit life support systems. Requires uh, living pearls. Oxygen rerouter. Upgrades the aeration membrane of the exosuit to harvest oxygen from the life support system in the event of a breathing emergency. Allows the user to resurface and seek conventional fuel supplies. Ah. Okay. Let's see. Now this is the vehicle one. It's a little glitchy. Maybe? Look like I can do anything here. Yeah, the collision's bad. Okay, so this is vehicle upgrades, which is new. So what can we what can we buy from this guy? Nautilon cannon, osmic gen osmotic generator, and a tethys beam. So cannon for the submarine, high energy weapon. I'll grab it. I mean, I get the nanites. Captures energy by exploiting the saline gradient in deep water environments, allowing a slow recharge of the Humboldt Drive. Huh. Case of fuel re emergencies. And another gun. Okay, can I get, like... Can I get the randomly generated tech, too? Because I kind of suddenly want to see if I can get, like... A crazy fast... Uh... Why does it all say... Oh, wait, no, no, no. That's, that's just the, um... The plus 0% just means... Uh... This is a flat price. I'm only really interested in these. Pricey. I can afford it. I'll have to come back for upgrades and whatnot. Okay. So it's not glitching out on me anymore. I don't think there's really much of a use for 90% of this. Oh, they moved this in or out. This looks better. Way better than it used to be. All right, let's compare. Nope. Well, it is better. The only problem is I don't want to give up all my goodies. Eh, we'll deal with it later. All right, let's... Whoop, whoop, whoop. That's how I run. I remember these things. 
I really? Wow, I can clear that. I was not expecting that. All right, do we have do we have the mission yet, or do we have to do something specific? Discoveries milestones log. So first traveler mission out of range space anomaly atlas path. Build a Tethys beam. Here we go. No, that's probably not it. I don't know. Maybe I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna go throw myself in, uh, into, we want bad vacation. If I can find it. Oh, it's, I think it's Tropical Resort Landia. Because I forgot the base has a different, uh, naming scheme than the planet. Awkward. So I guess I could have maybe warped... Wait, no, no, no. The planet's called Bad Vacation. I don't remember what I named the system. Oh, well, that's fine. I think... I think this is it. No. Where the... Deuce? Oh, I remember where Bad Vacation was. This is the... This is the first planet I've ever went to. Well, that's not helpful. I forget how to take off. I have not played this game in a couple months. Right trigger to take off. There we go. Oh, I could have just walked over to my, my new base. Whoops. Oh, well. I'll see if I can get some mods in on uh, on the game before we play again. Maybe? We'll see. I don't know. I, I don't really know how long this is going to be. Oops. That's not... How do we... How do we land? X to land. It does feel like they've improved the the low atmosphere, atmosphere flight. I actually have like a modicum of control over what I'm doing. Which is a weird feeling. Come on, land. What do you mean landing area is not clear and then we get to this point and we're just flying through a platform? That's confusing. Okay. Cause, can, I, can I get off? I got Thank you. I must have been playing this keyboard and mouse the entirety of the uh, No Man's Sky next update. Which is weird. Oh, it probably reset my settings. Okay. Well, before I mess around any further, let's, uh, let's see. So we don't care about these. We want to go back to discoveries. And I've lost a direction, uh, connection to the discovery services, of course. So which one is Bad Vacation? Bad Vacation's in Blobtown. So we just want to go to Blobtown. Oh, worst vacation ever. There we go. Not exactly my, my favorite planet to go to, considering the superheated storms. We'll probably find a different one, but I didn't want to fly around like a, a bunch of... I, I, I don't want to fly around looking for oceanic bases yet. I mostly want to just uh, take a look at it while we're here. Because I am dead tired today, but I, I want to make sure that I, I get this out, because... I don't know. I'm curious. It's starving, actually. Painfully hot rain. Yay, my favorite. Oops. I wonder if I can take my ship into the ocean. Let's start with that. That'll be that'll be worth the extra effort here. How do we Okay, that's how we go. Into the waters! Nope, doesn't seem to like that. Doesn't seem to like a lot of this stuff, actually. Then again, I'm not actually sure if this has deep enough waters to justify. We might have to go find a better oceanic planet. Because this doesn't seem terribly deep. I see some stuff there, but it's... Not really what I'm going for. A ship doesn't want to be a submarine. There's a couple of mods. It's 
uh... There we go. Is it B? Oh, right, it's... That's, that's the combo. Okay. So where do we go? And how do we get there? Galaxy map. Because it doesn't look like this has the planet I'm looking for. Which is inconvenient. Okay, screw it. I guess... The one option we could do... Hmm... Yeah, we should go to a new system for sure. Oh, I think they changed uh, how the Atlas path is shown. This is cool. Useless for what I'm doing. Uh, let's leave this for a second. Let's go back to controls. We want to... Nope. Is it general options? I wanted to switch these to locked. Because I think that's... Yeah, it was locked. That's... That's how I do this. So let's go let's go over to the space station. I want to uh probably warp to whatever system my quests were in. And then we'll figure out what to do past that point. Because I want to find an oceanic planet, but it might have to be like a freshly generated planet to have the uh the proper oceans. I don't know. De I definitely don't remember any planets that I've been to that had deep oceans. I was hoping bad vacation would be sufficient, but it looks like I'm wrong. Yeah, because I don't I don't remember any of the systems I've been been to that even have like there were a couple, not many. Okay, Katapi Station Beta. Hopefully hopefully this will be what I'm looking for. see. If not, yeah, I guess I'll just uh, warp around for a little while. I've got enough money, I should be able to just buy whatever I want. Okay, so we've got four planets. Let's see if this has got anything useful. So we're in Katapi. We've only discovered one. It does seem to have water on it, so that's a good sign. What can I buy from here? Okay, so they've got some trade goods. Never to the extent of goofy ridiculous that we had earlier, though. It looks like most of the trade goods aren't even the fancy kind. Buy warp cells. I feel like it, after a certain point, you should just be able to buy warp cells from every single one of these. That looks promisingly blue. But in this game, are you able to design your own ship? Can you be able to customize how it looks? I wish. That'd be rad. Now, it's blue. It's a tropical planet, but I don't see any oceans. What about you? Come on, let me scan you. Bleak planet. No, that doesn't sound what I'm looking for. Look like what I'm looking for. Sound? That looks promising, actually. <coughs> okay, come on, scanner. Go there. Tropic is what you want. Okay. Oh, I see. It will only let me scan Newt's for Eric. Oh, nuts for Eric. Did I name that, or did somebody else name that? It's an airless planet. One way or another, I'm gonna land at Nuts for Eric. I'm assuming somebody else named this planet, and I wanna, I wanna see who named this one. And then we'll go over to the tropical planet, because I guess it's what I'm looking for. Seriously, is that a randomly generated name, or did somebody name it Nuts for Eric? Because one way or another, that's kind of incredible.
It looks like a real crap planet. <coughs> so nuts for Eric. No, first contact. This is a randomly generated name. <laughs> really? I don't know. I'm uploading it though. Oh, the frame drops. Yeah, there might be some. This game has been significantly less stable since its updates. Okay, so let's try the tropical planet. I mean, it might have what I'm looking for. It might not. I don't know. It doesn't look like there's any water on it. But then again, the planets don't actually look like they do in space versus not. If there's no water as we get closer, I'll give up though. That might all be water? No, 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 no. There's not an ounce of water on this place. It might have had water at some point, considering the low valleys and whatnot, but this is... This planet is dry as a bone. I... I really... The, they need to do an update with planet biome diversity. And just... Diversity, diversity. Like, I brought up uh, Starlink Battle for Atlas, and, like, playing that game was, like, a microcosm... Microcosm? A, like, small slice of what No Man's Sky could have been. How is this tropical? I think it's supposed to be kind of tropically uh, trees and whatnot. And like, yeah, tropically, no, I don't know. It's sort of tropical, but it does not have any, any water to speak of. I do hope they improve that, because like, I would love it if planets actually had like five different biomes on it. And, like, some really neat natural features. Sadly, no dice. Okay. So where do I want to go? Data unavailable, data unavailable. Can I... And for these. Let me check how many planets are on one of these. Wait, water. Saying there's water on this. Let's go here. I'm not entirely sure if the water on the on the galactic map actually means there's water there, but I'm hoping I'm hoping they're smart enough to to include that for this update just so people can find what they're looking for. That looks promising. Let's take a look. What else do we have? That doesn't look promising. Unmapped Scorch Planet. Yeah, not betting on Scorch Planet. Okay, Flourishing Planet. This seems close to what I'm looking for. That looks like water. Hopefully it's deep water. I mean, it looks like it's got some pretty big land masses and a lot of ocean. So for Lucky, that's exactly what I need. some, like, giant oceans? God damn it. <laughs> uh, uh, it has water. Like I said, planets don't actually look like they do um, in space versus on land. So, effectively, the planets are kind of pre-generated based on their features uh, to look kind of one way. But when you get down there, it doesn't always match. So yeah, it wasn't exactly false advertising. It's a green and blue planet. It's got water. But, like, this whole area was a 
giant ocean from what I saw. Okay, maybe over there. Maybe, maybe we're just in the wrong section. Okay, don't you dare lie to me now, game. This looks a lot more promising. This looks like ocean. This looks like islands. I don't think it can pull the rug out from underneath me here. And it looks deep, too. This is this is what I'm... I'm here for. Please tell me it's deep, though. Ah, it looks deeper. Okay, let's go land on that island over there. Looks nice. There's like a glittery effect too, which is kind of neat. As we're flying along, I wonder how much they've. I, I'm seriously curious what the major differences are between like sessions. Whoops, that's not what I want. All right. Well, there's some interesting blue. We. No tap. No. I don't. I seriously don't remember. The scanning visor, what button that is. Uh I'm, Oh. I forgot there's a shield. That. Oh, force field. That's salt. Combat scope. Well it does. I mean, it seems more interesting. Uh, let's see. Is it F? Oh, it's F. It's F to scan. Ah, ah. Yeah, the frame rates do seem rougher. I mean, it could just be my computer right now. Could be this, but... It is stuttering a little bit more than it used to. Okay, what do we got here? It looks neat. This is close to what I'm looking for. Can I... Not utilities, summon vehicles? Hmm. I should probably go get some water. So I've got a booster that I can use. When I'm not swimming. Oh, that's neat. Oh, good. And now you can actually hang out at the at the surface of the water and get your oxygen back. That's neat. Okay, so how do we build stuff again? I thought it was X. Or is it Z? It's Z. Okay. Don't have access to that. Can I build a base down here? Base computer. There we go. I have no chromatic metal. Come on! Okay. So, I guess I left all that behind. Oh, right. I probably did actually leave all that behind. I've already scanned that. Chlorine. Yeah, I need copper. Unfortunately, I doubt I'm going to find that up here. Or up here, down here. We might have to go back up. One on a scale of 1 to 10, how would I rate this game? Eh, uh, 6. I think... I think I'll always kind of rate No Man's Sky somewhere between like a 6 and a, a 7. It's not necessarily a bad game, it's got some interesting ideas. The main problem is it's just, it's limited and they advertised it as a, uh, they didn't advertise it as early access and that was stupid of them. 
this is an early access game. No matter no matter what the the uh, the version number tells you uh, or implies, this is early access. It has always been early access it's ever since it came out. But I I like it. It's pretty. It's got a lot of potential. The main question is, is it gonna last long enough? Is it gonna last long enough to? actually fulfill its potential, or will they eventually just kind of call it done and stone hearths away as uh, mildly disappointing for forever? And honestly, like, personally, I will always just kind of cross my fingers that they just keep going with this game for a while uh, and actually make it into the thing that it should be. Anyway, it looks like I'm out of copper, so we should come back. Probably also refill my, uh, my launch thrusters. I don't have anything to do, so wow. What happened to all my stuff? I seriously don't remember what happened last time on uh, on the next update. That was, what, two months ago? It was kind of one of those mixes between, like, they kept updating the game so all of my mods kept breaking, which was kind of disappointing because mods make everything better for me. Uh, and I was kind of holding out for multiplayer, but that's never going to happen again. So unless I end up finding new people to play with, uh, I will always be playing No Man's Sky alone. Uh, one man sky? I don't know. But, uh... I mean, that's not actually so bad. What? Pirate? Alright, screw it. How far away are you? Pretty close. Okay, there we go. Oh, right. I remember. I remember how this works. Vaguely. Boy. Luckily, I've got friends to help shoot this dude. Wait, are my space guns? Oh, my space guns got nerfed. The I'm no longer the uh, ship-based powerhouse that I used to be. This three... This three-star, this three-star ship that I'm rolling is actually uh, very dan, very much in danger. Cannot warp freighter in here. Come on. I mean, I might be able to just out outrun him. I could be wrong. Looks like he's not going for me. I'll, I'll just uh, beeline for the station and pop in. I don't remember how to repair my ship, now that I think about it. But yeah, I had a bunch of really sweet mods that made my last ship an utter, utter powerhouse in space. And I forgot, I got this new ship, more or less uh, hacked it up into being what it is. And then, uh, can't spawn your cargo in combat. Oh, I forgot about that. I, I've never, I don't, well, it's not that I forgot. I don't think I ever knew because I never needed to. All right, uh, let's see. So I don't have any, do I have any tech in my inventory? I've got a starship shield module, so we should do that. All right, shields, 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 right there. Synergistic effects. I was wondering why I wasn't just like ripping through him and the answer is duh. I don't look like I got anything else. Okay. So we want to do a couple of things. I guess let's, let's for starters, let's check for any ship mods. Oh yeah, are there any new um things that we can get? Oh. So I could get the blueprint for... These? So we can get the freighter react. Okay. So there's still some tech I can get. I guess I'm not grabbing upgrades like I thought I was going to. But I can grab the uh, inventory space at the very least. Alright. Cargo. Oh! Does cargo not give you a regular inventory slot now? That's unfortunate. Oh, I'll keep grabbing cargo. Alright, so we want to go grab copper.
casually carrying a ship shield generator in your backpack. Okay? Why not? Okay, so please tell me we've got the basic resources here. Okay, not unstable plasma. Chromatic metal. And we want... Seriously, holding E doesn't work? Busted game! And I'm just gonna buy a bunch. I mean, baseline, we need both. We don't need any pugnium. Uranium. Huh. I don't know if we need uranium for anything. I think we need cobalt. I think we need a lot of cobalt. I'll get some uh, ferrite dust. Because we need ferrite dust, I mean, to make everything. I want to have to go mine it when we're on the planet. Because yeah, I probably got rid of 90% of this stuff when I was switching my ship around. Okay, so this should be better. We still don't have any fuel for this thing. Hopefully we can get more at some point, somewhere, somehow. Who knows? Okay. So this time, back to the oceans. Yeah, I really must have just ended up right in the middle of the, uh, the landmass area. I thought I was close to a coast, so I just flew for a while, but I, I guess I must have been dead center on that. So they might have actually made them more true to form. I remember back when this game first came out, the planets were, like, much more ambiguous. Like, you get close to them and suddenly the whole planet's color scheme changes. And you're like, wait, what am I looking at here? This is this is false advertising. This isn't the ship. Uh, this isn't the ship. This isn't anywhere close to what I was looking for. You know, actually, I want to be on those islands, but it might actually be a better idea to just be on the coast. Huh. Does this just not have a uh, collision? Why not? Because, yeah, if I'm on the coast, I can swing by for resources if I need it. Let's drop down over here. It looks like that might be a deep section. No, that's a cloud. Okay. Am I understanding this game right? Harvest minerals, build stuff. Harvest more minerals, build more stuff. Chips, fort skinners, etc. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, standard survival game to some degree. Hmm. Okay, let's go back to my... Let's go back to the ship for a second. You don't build ships. You build ship parts. But you don't actually build the ships itself. It'd be neat, and I hope they make customizable ships. Because, like, if I could switch out, uh, switch out different parts on top of my ship, I'd be so happy. Okay, so we're pretty much stuck here for a little while. Let's see if I can make, uh... See if I can make one of these. I need an ion battery and paraffinium. Never mind, I don't think that's happening. Even oh hey, paraf paraffinium. Would you look at that? Let's see if I can get enough paraffinium. Because if I can get the um if I can get the skimmer, we can uh we can probably get to where we need to go much faster. Leave me alone. I'm just an ordinary dude. Wants to figure out where some paraffinium is. Okay, so what do we got? More paraffinium. How much do I have in my inventory? Ah, uh, 12. Blech. What about the ion batteries? Okay, good. All that extra cobalt we, we grabbed was a good idea. Carbon quick transfer. Okay, so craft more. Alright, so that should be enough, so we just have to bop down a bunch of these rocks. We'll be good to go. 
Right. I know we need some, uh... I know we need some carbon for a couple of things. Scan a ship and unlock those par parts to customize? Yeah, that would be nice. Or destroy a ship, or find... I mean, honestly, I wouldn't even say, like, a scan thing. It'd be kind of nice sometimes if you could actually just, uh... It'd be kind of nice if you could just, uh, sometimes, like, find ship parts. And, like, a crashed wreck. Ooh, fancy. Check this out. I don't think we need marrow bulbs for anything. Oh, toxins detected. Oh, hazardous flora. There we go. Oh, vault. Really? Oh, they can find you in caves now. That's a new one. What if they can find you underwater? Dunno. Okay, well let's let's just run around like an interstellar bandit. Uh the interstellar bandit that we are. That guy's just gonna chase me for a while. I mean he might lose me, I don't I don't entirely know. I'm not gonna really like put a whole lot of effort into it because wasted time. Because we pretty much just want to bust up a bunch of rocks. Okay, yeah, what kind of new up uh, moats were added for this update? I'll check as soon as we're back in the water. I just wanted to... Uh, I just wanted to get the skimmer going so I can... Uh, oh, the rock. I haven't scanned it yet. See, is this the in-game music? It sounds dope. Yeah, 65 Days of Static did a fantastic job with the soundtrack. Oh, just dihydrogen. Actually, I think we needed that. Unfortunately, they used to have, like, a really beautiful couple of, uh, songs for, like, a specific couple of moments, and they've actually removed it from the, from the game. It sucks a little bit. Because uh, the whole soundtrack is procedurally generated to go with the theme of, well, the rest of the game. And I love it, but it's also, uh, it's a bit of a shame that I can't, like, buy the soundtrack and listen to this. There. 100 paraffinium. Perfect. Where's my ship? There's my ship. I wish I could put, like, a launch pad down. Oh, well. Alright, so we want... Not a roamer. Not with the Colossus. We want the Nomad. Really? Why not? There it is. Okay. Perfect. Figure if I'm if I want to look for any deep water. Wow. Holy crap! How garbage is this thing? It. Uh oh. <laughs> That's why it's garbage. There isn't a single upgrade on it. Um, man, I thought I upgraded this thing the last time we played. Why are we jittering so much? I have no idea. Okay, so this might take a bit of a trip. To get out over deep water. It's getting deeper. I was hoping they'd have even deeper water. Like, I want, I want subnautica levels of... Of deep here. What the hell are these things? Dunno. This looks about as good of a place as any to actually put down some kind of base. I don't know if this is actually going to be the final ocean world that I land on, but it looks neat. I just want to find one that, like, has crazy deep water. Because I think that would be real satisfying. Okay. So we want to do, not a beacon, save point, comm system, portable, base computer. Here? I mean, I think it's going to be a bit of a mess, no matter where I go. Let's go, let's go deeper. We must go deeper! I haven't actually played that game yet. I don't know if I will. Another game that kind of requires a bunch of multiplayer. Oh, well, we'll see. Okay. So we want to do blueprint analyzer, base computer. Yeah, right here. Why not? Okay, claim base. And we'll look around. Maybe there's 
even deeper waters further out, or maybe there aren't. I don't know. I need to go to a new system or galaxy for those nice new water worlds. Very possibly, yeah. Okay, that's a corridor. How do we get... Where's the door? There's the door. Not construct underwater. What? No! What do you mean? Oh, the... Ah, shoot. Okay. By the force field door. That... It would be a good idea. Let's get up. Let's not drown. Actually, in retrospect, we really don't need to care about it that much, do we? Because now, now that I'm thinking about it, I've got a fair chunk of shields. Now let's go see see about the force field door. Maybe maybe that's good enough. Because it doesn't look like I've got. Uh, oh, it might just we might just have to use the blueprint computer. Oh, aquatic construction. Okay, so we do have some aquatics. Do I not have the force field door? As an option? I have a window. Okay, or Hmm Try this Blueprint research. Okay, I've got some salvage. Race initiator. Pilgrim Geobay. Oh, so that's where we get that. Nope. Well, let's grab the Pilgrim Geobay at the very least. Um, bunch of decals. Not really helpful for what I'm doing here. We could do a concrete doorway. Biodome. I don't have the biodome yet. Oh, wow. I really just kind of lazed my way through this. All right. Let's do basic components. Can I? Okay, so I can do one of these. It looks like. Okay, so let's delete that. Do metal? Can I? Metal door frame. Yeah, okay. So I can do one of these. And I have a little bit of glass. Okay, I have multiple multiple bits of glass. But uh, oh okay. Uh mm hmm. I have my doubts that this is functional. Okay, let's go get some... Let's get some oxygen back. Um... Huh. <laughs> we might have to just accept that this is a failure. <laughs> just for a bit. I... I'm a little disappointed. We're gonna have to figure out... I might just have to go get a bunch of salvage bits. Because, yeah, it looks like... <laughs> yeah, straight up. That kind of door doesn't work here. I have an idea. I uh, Would it work? Sometimes I can connect these. Okay, let's... Connect that. We have an idea... It's 
janky nonsense. Get one of those. Okay, so if I can't get it one way. Yep, all right. <laughs> this is maybe less functional than I thought it was going to be, but it, I mean, it worked out. We have an underwater base. It just sucks. <laughs> it just sucks real bad. <laughs> but I've succeeded. You doubted me. Actually, I, I don't know if any of you doubted me. But it sort of works. <laughs> oh, we have an ocean base. That's all I needed. I'm going to make a save point. Uh, can, I, can I make one in here? No. Looks like we have to jam it in outside. Well, what about, uh, what about making a... Permanent technology. I need an ion... Wow. Teleporters are cheap shit now. What else do we have? Impu uh... Ow. Yeah. They made these rather inexpensive. That's awesome. They used to suck. Let's make an ion battery. I'm probably going to put the teleporter... Uh, I, I think I'm going to put the teleporter on the roof. Assuming it lets me. Uh... Structures? No. Equipment. Permanent technology. Please tell me I can put the portal on the roof. Yes! Why did it destroy that? I don't... This game confuses me sometimes. I gotta go get a bunch of, uh... I gotta go get a bunch of stuff to make this work, don't I? Well, that's fine. We can do that tomorrow. Or I can skip ahead a little bit and just put down... Where's the... Where's the saving? Save point. There we go. I need dihydrogen jelly. Can I can I make it? Cool. Uh save point. There we go. Yeah, I'll I'll have to go get my my hands on some more of those. They're not anti clusters, they're whatever the other blueprint thing is. That way uh <laughs> we can actually get a proper aquatic doorway instead of the Hack job of a base that I've jammed together here. I mean, it works. It works well enough, but uh, it doesn't work as well as I think I'm gonna need it. <laughs> it's a little glitchy. Yeah, we'll we'll have to see. There's apparently a quest line down here somewhere. I don't know how to. I don't know how to do it. I don't even know how to get the submarine. Those will be goals for another day, though. Anyway. Yeah, this series will be back for a little while, and who knows? Maybe we'll make some progress on the uh, the main story as well. I'm still kind of waiting on that one because I feel like they're going to have another major update to add more of an ending. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs>